our memory was that you so excited us that we felt we must come out to see you. And we did, of course, about a couple of years ago. Could you say what's been the most important things that have developed since then? Yeah, the most, first and, first and foremost, I do remember one of the group asked me a question. Do you want money or people? Myself, I said, I need you people. The interaction of you, for you coming to Berega and sharing or whatever we're having is very much vital than money because the people, these people through Mission Morogoro have uh, made three areas of support at Tungol Health Center in particular. Uh, these are including uh, supporting tanks, water tanks, and uh, solar power, and also plus the beddings. Uh, these uh, three items have made a very big difference to the place. If I start with the, uh, the, 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 the question of tanks, by then at the center there are no water, uh, no tanks, no water harvesting system. So the people could not actually have water at the center for washing and for other things. They use it generally at the center, there are none by then. But after the support now, three tanks actually, at the moment they are full of water. The people are enjoying the fetch water from just outside, outside the road, and uh, they are being used for everything in the, in the center, in the, in the clinic. That is very much good uh, support, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot imagine if the tanks could not be there uh, up to now, then uh, the life could be very much hard. Question of lightings. Uh, it was dark, totally dark at the center, and uh, the support made a difference. Now there are light uh, in the world. And, uh, and that is making a difference. People are enjoying, are enjoying having light in the place. The beddings, uh, we, there are 40 beds, but by then they are having no, having no sheets, bed sheets. Now they are bed sheets, bed covers, and also mattresses. This have made a very big difference at, at the Tungul Health Center and uh, actually have made a very big change and uh, if could not be having all those things there uh, the life could be very much hard and uh, no more support which have been received uh, from any supporter apart from Babu people through Mission Morogoro very much thankful for that great support. The second visit mm -hmm. of course we are thinking quite a lot about the future and about mm -hmm. how Mission Morogoro mm -hmm. might develop its work with you here mm -hmm. What can you say about that? What are your hopes for the future? Yeah, my hope for the future is a sustainable working together, sustainable actions working together. Particularly, now we are having the, it is yet very infant idea, but very serious, of having the Embrace program, the Tushikaman and Kiswai we call. That to me is a sustainable kind of uh, a friendship, which is ongoing. Uh, always be there. It's like a, it's like a, a life-saving program which will be there for many years to come. So to me, that is very much important actually. So I feel like Babrook is always thinking of us and planning for us and, uh, and uh, always is here. That is very much vital and I'm very much happy and, for that. And the lives that will be saved are, yeah. are those of, of women, mums, expecting children and the newly born. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. All of them, all of them. Here, in the place, many people do actually start life and uh, die, particularly for, for, for expected mothers uh, and their infants, the children. Uh, why the infrastructure and everything here are yeah, very much uh, not very much good in good position, plus culture and everything. So, uh, having the imprints will include all those challenges in addressing them. Uh, to make sure that people are maybe courage to come to the hospital or a center like Tunguri uh, for them to get the services. That is going to save the life of the people actually. Yes, it is. Isaac, um, uh, back at home, mm. there is quite a lot of anxiety from some people about how money is spent. They just feel sometimes that if they give money mm. to overseas uh, uh, work, yeah. that somehow or other the, mo the money won't get to the place where it really needs oh, to get. Okay, okay, okay. But uh, can you reassure people that, that the money given through Mission Morogoro will actually reach every everyone here? Yeah. Everybody who is actually planning to support uh, Mission Morogoro and uh, Mission Morogoro support us, be assured that every coin being uh, sent, being donated, comes straight to us. And uh, for us also, we are accountable to Mission Morogoro, to let them know what's happening. So no any single coin could be misused or misappropriated. 
anyhow no we do normally having good communication with mission morogoro and also we send photos we send reports and also mission morogoro have a plan of coming actually seeing for instance the late uh, i mean the visit which are just uh, made by the group isaac you are the director of this hospital here in borega mm -hmm. and you have huge responsibilities yes, yes, yes. What, what gives you the most happiness and satisfaction in your work here yeah, I have read a book which I presented by somebody from Babroka uh, Walker, I think, Walker, the name Walker. And I've read just a phrase that says that your life is not for yourself, it's for everybody. So for me, that makes me happy to feel that I'm serving others. Uh, I'm serving others. And that actually makes me happy when I see other people uh, getting happy. That makes me more happy. And when I collaborate with people like Babu people, uh, Mission Monogoro, who are also having the same mind of Sangui people, mm. that actually makes me more happy. That's what, apart from many struggles I'm having, but I feel that supporting somebody to me very much vital, very much happy, and that creates me to feel always okay, apart of challenges I'm having. So is there a yes. final message you'd like to send to the people of Babu? One word. Babu people, we need you in person. Having you is having everything. Having you is sharing experience. Having you is sharing the resources you are having. Plus ours also, just sharing the experience, everything. So having you, to me, is like having a people who are packing our services here. Uh, actually, we are being, being supported uh, morally and also, apart from, uh, apart from material things, but uh, myself, as a head, having other people in my mind who are thinking of us, very much encouraging, very much powerful, Whenever I struggle with everything, when I remember there are people who are praying for me, there are people who are thinking of me, there are people who are planning on how they can reach here, we feel and myself feel very much encouraged. So we need people to continue working together with us at Berega and it will be the same. Borrego, yes. Director of Borrego Hospital here in Morogoro Diocese in Tanzania. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Asante.